How can you improve your negotiation skills? Even if you hate to negotiate, even if you're afraid to get started with it, even if you have no idea where to get started, in this video, I'm going to share with you three tips that you, or anyone for that matter, can begin using to improve their negotiation skills today. Hey, I'm Derek Halpern. You're watching Social Triggers, the place where you can learn to leverage proven psychological principles to get more of what you want. Here's the first tip. Intimidate the heck out of everyone. That means just walk into a store, scream at the top of your lungs, and demand a better price. Just kidding. All right, let's get serious for a second. Here's the first tip. I actually stumbled on this while reading To Sell as Human by Dan Pink. Before you sit down to negotiate with someone, you should take the perspective of the person you're negotiating with. I'll explain. Columbia Business School professor and negotiation expert Adam Galinsky conducted an experiment where he revealed interesting insights behind what helps people close a deal. Here's what went down. They got together 154 undergraduate students and broke them into three groups. Each group was given different directions on how to approach the sale of a gas station. The first group, the control group, was told to just negotiate the sale. The second group, the empathy group, was told to imagine how the other person was feeling. And the third group, the perspective-taking group, was told to imagine what the other person was thinking. What happened? The control group and the empathy group struck a deal 39% and 54% of the time, respectively. But the perspective-taking group? They struck a deal 76% of the time. Uh-uh! That means when you want to negotiate the close of a deal, Take the perspective of the person you're talking to. Try to think where he's coming from. What is going on inside of his head? Why is he looking to make a deal in the first place? Can you align his incentives with your own? Tip number two, always ask for more than you really want. Let's say you're negotiating a job offer and you really want a $5,000 increase in your salary. What should you do? Don't ask for $5,000, ask for $10,000 and a week's vacation. Why? Asking for more than you really want gives you the opportunity to make sacrifices while you're negotiating. After hearing your offer, the hiring manager is probably going to say you're asking for too much, but that's okay. You've got $5,000 and a week's vacation worth of wiggle room. You can sacrifice that extra money and vacation time, meet the hiring manager in the middle, and agree on that $5,000 salary increase, which is what you really wanted anyway. So if you're negotiating your salary, a client contract, or anything really, ask for more than you're willing to take. Get it? And the last tip, when you have to decline an offer, never take responsibility for the no. Here's the deal. When you take responsibility for the no, you're positioning yourself as the foe, and the other person can get defensive, and that's no good. However, when you pass the blame to someone else, you take on a different role. Instead of being the enemy, you're actually working with the person you're talking to to find a common resolution. Be the good guy. Let me give you an example. Back when I was 18, I worked for this BS sign company, and my gig was to subcontract out sign installations for as cheap as possible. Every time I would call a sign installer, they'd almost always quote a price that was way too high. So I would tell them, put them on hold, walk to my boss's office, present the price, she'd say no, I would go back, pick up the phone, and say, hey man, I'm gonna level with you. I can't give you as much as you're asking, and to be honest with you, it's not my fault, it's my boss's fault, I really don't care what we pay you, I make $8 an hour, I just need to find someone who can do it for this price. If you can work with me, we can make a deal, if not, I'm sorry. As you can see, I wasn't the enemy. I blamed the boss for the no and positioned myself as someone who's just trying to make this deal work. We were on the same side. So there you go. Those were three tips that you can use to become a master negotiator. Again, take the perspective of the person you're talking to, always ask for more than you really want, and never take blame for the no. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, do you know anyone that might be able to benefit from one of these three tips we talked about today? Send them a link to this video. They're going to love it. Also, if you're not on the Social Triggers mailing list, one, you're an idiot, two, type socialtriggers.com into the URL bar, enter your name and email into the sign-up form, and press Get Updates. You're going to love it.
you're positioning yourself as the f- Batteries died. Batteries. 